It doesn't matter if I was an RN or a doctor working in a doctor's office. If my lifestyle was already given to me, then I'm stuck with it. It takes one angry moment to make you or force you into making decisions that you thought you would never be able to make. The questions always start off with, how did you do it? Like, what made you allow yourself to go that route? Don't you want pain medicine? I'm like, if you have the best midwife, <laughs> that's your pain medicine because it calms you down so much. Just having that person that doesn't rush you or that doesn't force you, they ba actually let you or empower you to listen to your body. Let your body tell you when it's ready, not not the other way around. Like, okay, I'm gonna check you, okay, you're ready. No, it's more like, listen to yourself. If you feel like pushing, push. So just hearing those words of confidence from someone else and you're freaking out, of course, that's gonna make you want to uh, listen, to actually do what they allowed you to do. This will be my fourth at a birth center. My first birth, it was completely scary. I wasn't sure what to expect or what I should do or what I should prepare for. It was one of those, it feels like I was a first time mom going to get to a new environment. When I had my first appointment, it felt like I went to someone's house, like as if I was watching a movie at, and, and a midwife came in and, and took care of that person. It felt like it was a neighborhood mid midwife and it was taking care of their family member. So that experience empowered me because I know I could control my emotions. With my second one at, at a birthing center, it was more of like, okay, you can do this, let everything happen naturally. And it was like a miracle. It felt like a miracle within itself. And then by the third one, I felt like I was a guru. <laughs> I was actually, there was no screaming, no tears, no nothing, and I felt so comfortable. I felt like I was in heaven. There was nothing that could get between me and my mental state of mind at that point. I was able to control my pain and focused on just me, and me and my baby, which took away all the pain, which took away all the negative thoughts. What if something happens to my baby? What if I can't push this time? But I was able to remove all that and allow myself to have a peaceful, enjoyable, I actually enjoyed going through the pain. <laughs> And most people were like, okay, you are drugs. No, I actually enjoyed it. It was, it was magical. And as much as I'm hoping it's the same way with this one, <laughs> I'm, I'm praying that I'll be able to have the same mentality when I enter to have my seventh. <laughs> When I came to the United States, I didn't realize or understand the difference in how the healthcare system worked, but I had had health issues when I lived in England. I had been taking care of those issues, you know, as best I could, and I felt like I was making some progress. But when I moved here, I think perhaps the stress added to my issues. And I found myself having more trouble, um, I had to see gynecologists, I had to get, you know, some help to figure out what to do. The hardest part for me was I, as a medical professional, I felt like I knew what to expect, I knew the questions to ask, I knew how to manage. My experience was really, really odd. 
I was completely lost inside of the situation. I was lost from the point of view of not really understanding what was going to happen. Basically, before I knew it, within, the, within a year, I ended up with having major surgery, having my uterus and my ovaries removed, and coming out the other end of that just in shock. I mean, I knew, but I didn't know. I was party, but I wasn't party. I was asked questions, but I, I don't know what my answers were. I don't even know how I really got there, but that's the end result. I was completely blindsided, shocked, overwhelmed. It was in that moment that I realized I had to return to doing what I wanted to do, loved to do, and wanted to go back to the work I knew. But also, I realized how powerless I was inside of that situation, unable to protect myself from what happened. It helped me to become a different person, but it leaves me still frustrated, it leaves me angry, it leaves me, when I think about it, um, still I feel that helpless feeling because I don't know how I got there, and so fast. At the same time, I agreed with and went along with, and so I was party to what happened to me. I started the first pregnancy at the normal, you know, OBGYN office and there just seemed to be a lot of traffic and I was with a different doctor every time and I wanted care that was a little more personalized. Oh, Hi Panda, what are you doing? Here we are doing. I mean, we can do that before his nap and then... Being a teacher, and my husband is an artist. You know, we don't have a ton of money. So once we learned that insurance could actually cover what was done with the midwife, then that made it an even better option. And just being able to have freedom in the delivery process and being able to make many of the decisions for myself was empowering. With the knowledge that I have about from the first delivery, I don't think that I'd be more comfortable at a hospital. I still want not control necessarily, but just more of a voice in the process. And I've been present at a hospital delivery and the room does fill up with people and it seems as if the decisions are being made by that group of people instead of the mother being in charge, the mother and the father. Having control of the process, it, it makes me feel as if I'm empowered. There's something I can do to help this along and it's not just something that's happening to me. Um, as far as, you know, what the professional says should happen.